let us uh, start with the third problem. So G is a group, G is a set with three elements, one omega and omega square, where omega is a primitive cube root of infinity. And we want to show that this G is a group with respect to usual multiplication. Now omega is the cube root of unity. So we know that omega cube is equal to 1. That is because omega is a cube root of unity. So omega cube minus 1 is 0. And this factorizes into omega minus 1 into omega square plus omega plus 1 equal to 0. Now omega is not, omega minus 1 is not equal to 0 because omega is a primitive cube root of infinity. This means that omega square plus omega plus 1 is equal to 0. And solving this equation, quadratic equation, we will get omega is minus 1 plus or minus i root 3 divided by 2. So we will take omega as minus 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 and omega square if we calculate will come up to be minus 1 minus i root 3 upon 2. So we will do this calculation. You can do this calculation in your leisure time. So if I plot this number, complex number, minus 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 this number is here at an angle of 120 degrees. So this is omega and this is omega square which is minus 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2. So these are the three complex, these are the three numbers 1, omega and omega square. They are of g. Now we will uh, take, this, uh, take this element and you prepare a table of complex multiplication. So when I go for the first part of this set, if I say closure, I'm going to take 1 omega omega square with multiplication as 1 omega omega square. When I multiply that, I'm going to get 1 into 1 is 1 omega omega square again omega into 1 is omega omega into omega is omega square omega into omega square is omega cube but omega cube is 1 so I will write a 1 here then omega square multiplied by 1 is again omega square omega square into omega will be omega cube which will be 1 and omega square into omega square what is omega square into omega square it is omega raised to 4 but omega raised to 4 is omega cube into omega and omega cube is 1. So this will become remain only omega. So here you get omega. So this table shows you that all the entries in this table are 1 omega and omega square. So given any A here and given any B here, what is A star B? A star B is this table values in the table, they are again in the same set G. So the table shows that the set is closed under complex multiplication. So let me erase this. So therefore G is closed. Therefore G is closed under multiplication. Now the second thing is associativity which I will again leave it as an exercise for you to check that A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. Associativity is, can be checked. Third thing is identity. So here I clearly see that any element multiplied by 1 is giving me the same element omega into 1 is again omega and omega square into omega 1 is also equal to omega square so obviously identity of this set is 1 because I multiply 1 with anybody I will get the same thing back fourth is inverse so let us write the elements and let us note down the inverses 
So elements are 1, omega and omega square. From the table, I see that 1 into 1 is 1, omega into omega square is 1, and omega square into omega is omega square into omega is also 1. So this means that 1 into 1 into 1 is 1. Omega into omega square is identity, which is 1. Therefore, inverse of omega is omega square. And omega square into omega is also equal to identity, which is 1. So, inverse of omega square is omega. So, this means that all elements in my G, 1 omega omega square, have inverses also. I have identity also. Associativity is also there. And G is also closed under multiplication. This means that G is a group. So this finishes our third exercise.